Hi, and welcome to Green Ideas. Now, the problem with some of the traditional ways of saving the environment is that they can be really boring. So today we're looking at ideas for protecting the environment that are a bit different. And we think they sound fun. Our first project is called Hug It Forward. This great project started in Guatemala, where communities decided to work together to build schools out of old plastic bottles. In the first project, over 1,800 kids from the region filled 10,000 plastic bottles with bits of plastic, food wrappers and other garbage or trash found in the streets. They then used the bottles as bricks to help build a school. By the time they had finished, they had a new school and the area was a lot cleaner too. Now the idea is spreading, and around the world more communities are using the bottle school technology to build their own schools. What a fantastic idea! And here's an idea for those of you who enjoy going out clubbing. The Surya Nightclub in London was one of the first eco-friendly nightclubs in the UK. The club has a special dance floor that uses the movement people make when they dance to generate energy. The dancers manage to produce 60% of the energy that the club uses for light and music. The owner of the Eco Club had another great idea. If you walk or cycle to the club, rather than using a car or public transportation, you get free entry. I love it! And our final idea for today is the story of Soul River Park. It's getting more and more difficult to find green spaces in cities. So when Dr. Ki Huang had a crazy idea to take down the city's main highway and uncover the river that flowed below to make a green park, most people thought he was crazy. They told him that his idea would create traffic chaos and would be a disaster for the area. But Dr. Huang went ahead with the project and created the 5.8 kilometer Green River Park. It's a place where the residents of Seoul can walk, relax, and really enjoy the city. And do you know what? People are happier, and there's a lot less traffic chaos than before. It just shows that sometimes even the craziest ideas can work. One. Long. Longer. The longest. Two. High. Higher. The highest. Three. Healthy. Healthier. The healthiest. Four. Difficult. More difficult. The most difficult. One. It's the most beautiful place I've ever been to. Two. It's hotter than I expected. Three. The food is cheaper than at home. Four. It's more dangerous than I thought. One. I'd like to live in a rural area when I'm older. Two. The north of my country is an area of natural beauty. Three. Where I live, there is a lot of beautiful scenery. Four. I went camping in a national park. Five. We visited the Wildlife Center. Six. I'd like to visit a tropical rainforest. Seven. My country has interesting geographical features. 
Eight. I like being out in the fresh air. One. I always wanted to be a host of nature programs. Two. I was one of many tourists in South America. Three. A guide met us at the airport. The next day, the same guide took us hunting. Four. On the second day, the guide took us to a river. Five. I sometimes make a program in Britain. Six. In my job, I can explain the natural world to millions of people. Seven. I hate insects in general, but especially hate mosquitoes. Eight. I had the camera in my bag. One. I met wonderful people in the Amazon. Two. The birds we saw were amazing. Three. I have a great idea. Four. We need to put up a tent. Five. We took photos of the beautiful scenery. Why do we use rats after an earthquake? I'm not sure. It might be to help find people or other animals. Yeah, they used to rescue people. They can move in small spaces, and they have a good sense of smell, so they can find people. Why do some prisons use abandoned dogs? Hmm. Let me think. It could be as prison guards. Maybe they use the dogs to guard the prisoners. Actually, no. It can't be that because they'd be trained dogs, not abandoned dogs. I don't know. Okay. It says it was a program that started some years ago. Abandoned dogs are taken to prisons, and then the prison inmates take care of them until the dogs are adopted. Why does the army use dolphins? It's definitely not to attack people because dolphins are kind of nice. Um, it's hard to say. I really don't know. Dolphins are used to protect areas of water. They can detect swimmers who shouldn't be there. A light is attached to the dolphin's nose. The dolphin bumps into the swimmer, and the light falls off its nose. This tells the army where the swimmer is. Why did airport security plan to use gerbils in the 1970s? Perhaps they can smell drugs or something like that. Gerbils can smell people's adrenaline. When someone is excited, scared, or angry, adrenaline is released by the body. The airport security bosses hoped the gerbils would smell terrorists or other criminals in airports. In the end, the idea was abandoned because gerbils didn't know the difference between terrorists and people who were just scared of flying. Why do we use seals for research in the ocean? Hmm. That's a good question. It might be because they can live in very cold temperatures. They can dive deep down into freezing water. Scientists can attach research equipment to the seals' bodies, and this doesn't stop the seals from diving and swimming. One. It could be. It could be you. Two. It might be. It might be us. Three. It can't be. It can't be them.
Okay. The most beautiful place I've been to. Well, a few years ago, I went to Fish River Canyon. Where? Fish River Canyon. It's the second biggest canyon in the world. After the Grand Canyon? After the Grand Canyon. Where is it? It's in Namibia, in Africa. Wow. And what did you think of it? It was amazing. The first thing you notice is how big it is, of course. Of course. It just goes on and on, as far as your eye can see. But the best thing about it was the silence. Really? It was so amazingly quiet. We went there in August, and there weren't many tourists. And it was just so quiet. Would you like to go back? I would love to go back. One day. One day.